expanding binomials using Pascal's triangle. Okay, so we have done this, but this is going to come in handy uh, in certain situations. So first of all, let's build something called Pascal's triangle. Now, Pascal was a very uh, famous uh, mathematician. Uh, he did several things. Uh, but this is one of the things that he is known for. So what Pascal's triangle does is it has these ones that kind of frame it. Uh, and the way that we come up with the other terms is we add the two terms in the previous row. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So 2 is going to go uh, in the middle of the third row there. When we move to the, four, uh, yeah, the fourth row, we're going to add 1 and 2 to get 3 and 2 and 1 to get 3. So you're going to have two 3's on the 4th row. For the 5th row, you're going to have 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4. For the next row, 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So see if you can fill in that. Okay, so this last row would be 6, 15, 20, 15, and 6. All right, so you're probably thinking, well, what on earth do we use this for? Okay, well, what we use this for is the first row is uh, when you have an exponent of 0, the second row would be an exponent of 1, an exponent of 2, an exponent of 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, you may be thinking, well, exponent on what? Okay, we're expanding binomials. So, uh, and you don't have to recreate this. Okay, from now on you'll have this at your disposal, so you don't have to be able to create it from scratch. It's not difficult to do, but... You'll have it there when you need it, okay? So if you look at uh, the side of your page there, if we're trying to expand, if we're asked to expand x plus 2 to the 4th, now technically we can do this, okay? We can do this. It would just take us a really long time, right? Because x plus 2 to the 4th would be x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2. And that would take us quite some time to pair them up, foil them out, simplify, distribute a binomial to a trinomial, multiply it out, simplify, distribute a binomial to another polynomial. It takes a long time to, to multiply that out by hand. Well, here's where Pascal's triangle comes into effect. So what we're going to do is since this is fourth degree, we're going to start with the first term. We're going to start with x, and we're going to write x to the fourth. We're going to leave ourselves some space x cubed, leave some space, x squared, leave some space, x to the first, uh, leave some space, x to the zero. Okay, then we're going to take the second term here, the two, we're going to start on the other end and we're going to count down the other way. So we've got two to the fourth, two cubed, two squared, 2 to the first, 2 to the 0. Now I put it in front of the x because numbers come before variables. Okay. Now, here's where we need the Pascal's triangle because this is not it. So look at your Pascal's triangle, look at the row labeled 4 right here, and you're going to take those coefficients. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Notice there are 5 terms here, so you're going to do 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Come in. Hey. Uh, she's not here. She's going to clean her unit. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then since this was plus, we're going to have all of these are going to be plus. And now all we have to do is simplify the coefficients. Okay. So uh, 2 to the 0, anything to the 0 power is 1. So that first term right there is just x to the 4th. 
Uh, 4 times 2 to the first is 8, so we've got plus 8x cubed, plus 2 squared is 4, so 6 times 4 is 24. 2 cubed is 8, 4 times 8 is 32, and 2 to the fourth is 16, and 1 times 16 is 16, x to the 0 is 1. So, this is the exact same thing you would have gotten if you had multiplied x plus 2 times itself four times. But it was a whole lot quicker, right? Okay, so this is all about patterns. Let's look at another one. Okay, let's look at another one. b minus 3 cubed. Alright, so start with the variable. b cubed, b squared, b to the first, b to the zero. This one's a little bit shorter because it's just cubed. All right. Uh, ignore the negative for a second. Okay. Just do 3 cubed, 3 squared, 3 to the first, 3 to the zero. Uh, let's see here. 1, 3, 3, 1 are our coefficients from Pascal's triangle. 1, 3, 3, 1. Um, and the pattern, when there's a negative right here, okay, your very first term is going to be positive, then it's going to be negative, then it's going to be positive, then it's going to be negative. It's going to alternate, okay? So very first term is positive, <coughs> negative, positive, negative. The first positive doesn't really show up because it's just the first number there. Okay? So simplifying things here, uh, 1 times 3 to the 0, 3 to the 0 is again 1, so that's just b cubed. Minus 3 times 3 is 9, b squared, uh, 3 squared is 9, 3 times 9 is 27, so plus 27b, 3 cubed is 27, b to the 0 is 1, so we've got minus 27, I don't know where the parentheses came from, minus 27. Okay, so it's really just one big pattern. Let's do one more here, uh, we'll save the more uh, involved ones for tomorrow. x plus y to the sixth, okay? Exact same thing, it's just we don't have any uh, coefficients in this case. We don't have any constants, all we have are variables. So x to the sixth, x to the fifth, x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x to the first, x to the zero. This one's quite a bit longer. Okay, then we do the second term. Y, I'm going to put it second this time because we always do alphabetical order. Uh, something that I have not pointed out up to this point but is important to note. Uh, if you look at this, when you pair them up, their exponents are always going to add to be uh, the degree of you're raising the binomial to. So 6 plus 0 is 6, 5 plus 1 is 6, 4 plus 2 is 6, 3 is 6, and so forth and so on. Your exponent should always add up um, to that power. Okay? The sixth row of Pascal's triangle would be 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6. Let's see if I can remember that. 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. And this was positive, so we put positives in front of all of those. And then not really much simplifying to do here. We just make it look a little bit nicer. We've got x to the 6th plus 6x to the 5th y plus 15x to the 4th y squared plus 20x cubed y cubed plus 15x squared y to the fourth plus 6xy to the fifth plus y to the sixth at the very end. Okay, now obviously that one would have taken us a very, very long time and the chances of making a mistake along the way are very high. Okay, so Pascal's triangle just makes this process quicker and easier. Uh, you just have to remember the pattern. 
That's all it is. It's one big pattern. So we'll do some more difficult examples tomorrow. Uh, keep working on your review tonight.